Information available to Metro News indicates that government will resolve the ongoing power crisis within the next 10 days. A said telephone conversation between the host of Good Evening Ghana, Paula Dumotre, here on Metro TV, and the Deputy Minister of Energy, Herbert Kropper, suggests the Energy Ministry intends adding some 200 megawatts of power to the per permanently resolve the situation. Paula Dumotre disclosed this on his show on Tuesday, April 23, 2024. Within the next 10 days, we are getting enough to set all these things down. Everything will be fine. I said, Herbert, are you sure? He said, take it for me. In 10 days, everything will be fine. I said, ah, the do so that we are suffering. 10 days, what are you going to do? He said, but today, today, Tuesday, I'm adding 200 megawatts. So today, we are not shedding as much as we are shedding. I'm adding 200 megawatts. I'm telling you today, because something has come. And I'm going to fix it. Because when the minister comes back, He's already called me. It was past 11 o'clock. He said, it's past 11. He's finished a meeting. He's speaking to me. We are, we are fine. In 10 days. It could be one week. But I don't... I said, okay. Should I go and say it on TV tonight? Then he said, wait, let me come. I said, ah, you see. They are giving me... Say, you wait, wait. I put the phone down. I said, these people... Anyway, I'm going to report them to the vice president. Then he called. I picked. I said, chairman. He said, Paul, you can say it on TV. I said, oh, Wow. I'll put your picture there and say, put my photograph there and say it. So this is Herbert Scrapper. He's the chairman of ECG and deputy minister for energy. He has told me today that today he has under, added 200 megawatts. He has told me that I should mark today's date. One week, maximum 10 days from now, he will be able to resolve the doomsum matter and they will be able to make a statement in parliament. I heard parliament complaining today that Matthew Poku Prempe, the minister, has not come to make any statement. I agree with Parliament. Matthew Poku Prempe must come and make a statement in Parliament. But Herbert told me that by the time Opoku Prempe is coming to Parliament to make a statement, he'll be coming to Parliament to announce that the doom saw that we had, the temporal power outages, is completely over. Now, John Mahama and the NDC, bring it on. Let the campaign start. Ha, ha, ha. That's what he said. I'm excited, but if he doesn't do it, Viewers, please remind me. I mean, I'll be reminded because the light goes off. I'll call that. You said the thing will go off. 12 days now, the light has gone off. So that's a separate scrapper. Viewers, if he's lying, I'm lying. But this is what he said. He said I should put his photograph there. I should mention his name. His name is lawyer Herbert Crapper, LLB, LLM, BA, barrister at law and solicitor of the Supreme Court of Ghana. This is him. This is what he said. According to Paul Adomotri. So let's now talk to Benjamin Insia, the Executive Director of Centre for Environmental Management and Sustainable Energy, uh, on the Deputy Minister of Energy, Paul Crapper's claim uh, that Dumzo will be solved. Uh, thank you for your time. Good afternoon to you, sir. Good afternoon. Right, and you're welcome to Newsbeat. So, uh, as Ghana is currently struggling with the uh, unannounced power outages, we're still struggling to uh, get at least a timetable from the ECG. This is what we're getting from Paula Dumotri. Haven't spoken with the Deputy Minister Paul Crapper, I mean, I mean Herbert Crapper. Uh, is this something that you think is possible? Because we've had a debate that it is a financial problem and not a generational problem. So, this is something that you think Ghanaians should rely on or some hope is showing it's you know wearing its hair somewhere i think uh first of all uh, this is not an official communication uh, from the ministry of energy uh, neither it is coming from ecg uh, nor uh gridco and for that matter i take this uh, uh, expression as mere speculation uh, mere uh, pronouncement uh, which are not informal in nature and for that matter, if uh, we're going to argue or discuss this particular matter, uh, we should argue it based on the perspective that it is coming from a recognized institution uh, that uh, discusses issues of energy in Ghana. How about how, arguing from this point of view? Should it, even though it's a speculation, should it uh, be, be done that 200 megawatts will be added? Will that be enough to improve the current situation uh, considering your, your field and what you have actually ana analyzed or assessed? Uh, not entirely because you are in a short, short fall of about uh, 700 megawatts. So when you add uh, 200, uh, it takes out uh, 200 out of 700, and so we have a shortfall of 500 uh, megawatt. Uh, so, if uh, an official communication had come in, we would have known whether uh, Kong Thermal Plant now has fuel uh, to power uh, its plant. We would have known whether AXA has access some fuel. We 
would have known whether ASOGLE has completed maintaining its uh, infrastructure. And then we continue the discussion from there because availability of power, the data shows that there's a shortfall of uh, about 700 megawatts. And that is what we think the ministry must come uh, to give us that particular assurance and the timeline within which uh, this particular uh, challenge will be resolved. Now, the second part also is that uh, we all know that some of the IPPs are not also uh, full or powering their plant uh, because of the debt situation in the power sector. As to whether the ministry has been able to allocate some plans to these uh, IPPs, uh, no information has come from the ministry. Uh, right. So I think that 10 days uh, will be too short uh, for us to completely uh, operationalize or solve this particular uh, doom saw because the doom saw has uh, three legs. One is generation, uh, one is uh, technical uh, challenges, uh, one has to do with uh, distribution challenges. So these are the various challenges we have in the sector. So if someone comes to tell you that completely we are going to solve this particular generational problem, we are going to solve these transmission problems or distribution challenges within the power value chain, and I see that as untrue. So what if the 10 days also come to pass and the, the power supply stabilizes? We've heard uh, John Ginapo make analysis that it will take at least a next government of about two years to solve all these various challenges, the technical, the distribution, the debt situation and all that. Uh, so if in 10 days we see the coming on board of 200 megawatts and it stabilizes, are you saying that it's possibly going to be a temporal solution? It is, and that has always been the case in the power sector. We don't fully, uh, uh, fully effectively and uh, efficiently solve the problem. Uh, we tap on it as to when we want. And for that matter, uh, the problem keeps recurring. So if someone tells you that within 10 days, power is going to be stable, uh, we have to also ask whether, what is the quality of the power that is going to be supplied. And I think that looking at the, the death situation in the power sector, looking at the technical challenges the power sector is facing now with respect to obsolete infrastructure, uh, 10 days will not be enough to solve our power sector crisis. I think that we need to uh, organize ourselves, uh, get some milestones within which we shall work with. I think that we need to immediately uh, get alternative source of funding to fund some of the debt in the power sector, which re-equips the power sector service providers uh, to give us a bit stable power. But for someone to say completely, we are eradicating doom so uh, within 10 days, I think that uh, it is overblown. It is an overblown comment. So what should uh, the consumer do at this moment? I think the consumer must brace themselves uh, for this particular challenge because it's going to be a long-term challenge if you have resources uh, to acquire alternative a source of power, uh, like generators and other things, uh, people must, be, must begin to think that way. If you have enough resources to acquire solar panel and their batteries, uh, you must think that way. If you already have uh, some plants at home and you have resources to acquire fuel, you must think that way. This is the time uh, for people to have alternative ways of uh, generating power to, to support the national grid. And I must also add that uh, Ghanaians must begin uh, to realign uh, their firms' operations and households' activities to the new reality because we shall be in this uh, particular challenge uh, for a longer period of time. Even if government says uh, there is stable power, uh, because Gridco is facing some challenges, uh, this will lead to intermittent outages because ECG as a distributor is also facing some challenges, it will lead to some intermittent outages. And for that matter, uh, we must brace ourselves for this difficult time uh, for, 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 for a while. Benjamin Isian, thank you for your time this afternoon. And he is uh, an energy analyst speaking to us on the current situation. Meanwhile, the on